Now let's move on to some tragic news from London, where a car has crashed into a school building in southwest London's Wimbledon region. According to reports, a child has been killed in the tragic incident. Six other children and two adults were reported to be injured. As a gold-colored Land Rover crashed into the study preparatory school, a local member of parliament said that several of the injured were being treated as critical. Police authorities have arrested a woman on suspicion of causing death by dangerous driving. Further investigations into the incident are still underway, but the police have ruled terror-related motives at the moment. They've ruled that out. Well, our correspondent. Alex Isaac has been tracking this story on the ground and has sent us this report. Very sadly, one of the children, an eight-year-old girl, died at the scene. Our thoughts are with her family at this incredibly difficult time. The driver of a car, a woman aged in her 40s, stopped at the scene and has since been arrested for causing death by dangerous driving and remains in police custody. Our priority will be to identify all witnesses, to get their account of what happened, um, to view the CCTV. Obviously there's a person in custody that will have to be reviewed and uh, from that stage onwards we'll have to review the evidence and make a decision about what actually happened. This morning around 10 a.m. a car crashed into a school in South London. Land Rover hit teachers and students who were enjoying an end of term party in the green within the study preparatory school grounds. Now the school isn't on a major throughway and is in a tucked away part of Wimbledon. It is however a short distance from the club where the tennis tournament is currently taking place. Now eyewitnesses say a woman in her 40s was behind the wheel when the vehicle crashed and she waited at the scene. Now, the driver of the vehicle has been arrested on suspicion of causing death by dangerous driving. And police have said that the incident is not being treated as terror related. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, have said that their thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families. This investigation is ongoing. This is Alex Isaac reporting from London for Weon. World is One.